Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, this is James Fowler from Wadsworth, longtime fan. Man, the pretenders and the contenders, the contenders are trading for players to bolster their team at the trade deadline, and the pretenders are the ones that are getting rid of their players. This is not a good move for the Browns. They got rid of a quality player for nothing. Have they given up on the season? Thank you. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Uh, Tyler, we've talked this one to death. Uh, they're not giving up on the season. Um, people are really upset about that. Let's take a look at this. This is kind of interesting. So um, this is a, a tweet from Jack Duffin. Um, it is the percentage of snaps for wide receiver um, that are up. So DPJ actually um, had the highest percentage of snaps um, at wide receiver, 83%, Cooper 78, Moore 78, Goodwin uh, 14, Bell 10, and Cedric Tillman just 8. Um, <clears throat> so a, a lot of uh, snaps have opened up at wide receiver. Yeah, for sure. And DPJ, a big reason that he does lead the team in snap percentage at wide receiver is he he was a really good run run blocker for the Browns. He got called for a couple penalties at some at various points this season, but he is a good run blocker, and that's a big reason he was on the field the most. Um, Amari and Elijah, I think that number is going to stay around the same for them. Maybe that gets bumped up into the 80s. I think Goodwin, his snap percentage is going to increase, especially with the return of Deshaun Watson here, hopefully, um, either this week or next week. David Bell, I expect him to go up um, once he's recovered from his knee injury. Uh, we don't know how serious that is, but uh, he didn't practice today. And then Cedric Tillman. Cedric Tillman is probably going to see the biggest increase, of course, just because he hasn't played much throughout the year. But he was the guy that you drafted to replace Donovan Peoples-Jones. So I think out of anyone on this list, I expect Tillman's to go up massively in the next coming weeks. And I, I can't wait to see what he can do. I mean, again, he did some things in the preseason you like, and I know you don't want to overreact to preseason, but he's got that build you want um, to play X receiver, which the Browns really need. And I think he's going to end up filling that role about as well as DPJ did.